Okay, we've got the Yaesu FT736R brought back to life by recapping the internal switching power supply. The only thing that remains to be done is take care of the backlight for the S-meter. When I had the rig opened, I verified that the two incandescent bulbs that are used to backlight the meter were indeed burned out. So the first thing to do, power off the rig and start taking off the covers. Okay, we'll unplug it and start removing some screws. I'll get this bottom cover off here. There we go. Now, Yesu did a really cool thing to help us service uh, things behind the front panel. With the front uh, screws of the top cover removed and the whole bottom cover removed, you can simply loosen up these two screws on both sides and you can tilt the front panel out and up so you can actually get to things behind it. Okay, and this side. Loosen that up a couple of turns, and uh, we'll tilt the rig up on its side to get this thing all the way up and out. Okay, I can uh, pull the panel forward and tilt it down, and there we go. Real easy to get two things on the back panel here now. Okay, here's the, uh, the back of the S-meter, and the two incandescent bulbs are sitting in these little silicon rubber sleeves, and we can basically pull them right out of their uh, holders, one there and then the one down here. We can see each of these is soldered to a set of posts uh, right here on this board. I've repositioned the camera to kind of show how this uh, bulb fits into that hole uh, for a reason. Because you might wonder, well, if we're going through the trouble of replacing these bulbs, why don't we convert it to LED? And I thought about that, but uh, let's take a look at how the light is coupled to the meter face. Uh, the light uh, basically comes out of the, this bulb through the silicone, kind of all around the perimeter of it. And it couples into the sides, you know, the interior of this hole into the plastic. And you might notice that the exterior of this plastic is, is kind of painted silver. And the idea is that light couples into this plastic piece, which is clear, and gets reflected by the silver paint and goes down essentially a plastic light pipe and that is routed essentially to the front panel. So if we wanted to replace uh, these bulbs with LEDs, you know, we'd have to make sure that the light from the LED gets coupled effectively into the interior perimeter of this cylinder. And you know, most LEDs you know, emit a lot of the light out of the surface of them. And, you know, maybe a surface mount LED positioned in there and kind of glued in place might work, or we might modify this, you know, or maybe cut this off and polish this surface to couple light in, but uh, I don't want to do that much modification to the rig right now. So we're going to start off just replacing the bulbs with uh, a new set of incandescents, and then we'll consider our conversion to LEDs down the road. Okay, simple matter of uh, grabbing hold of these wires, and we should be able to pretty easily unsolder them from the post here. There we go, one set and other set. It's always a good idea to make sure that our replacement set of bulbs work before we put them in place, and they do, we're good to go. Okay, we use a little compressed air to blow out the, uh, the dirt or any contamination inside these silicon sleeves. We'll just uh, mount those on the bulbs. We'll stick them inside the meter and then uh, connect them up to the posts. All right, let's get the, uh, the top one in here. There we go. And the lower one. Okay, these are incandescent bulbs, of course, so the polarity doesn't matter. Let's uh, solder each of these onto the posts and we'll be good to go. Okay, let's see. Yep, and there we go. The meter is uh, lighting up again. Okay. With the uh, covers back on, that uh, completes uh, the replacement of the incandescent bulbs that are lighting up the uh, S-meter. Now, there's always been a lot of complaints about the S-meter backlighting in here. It's not that great, but we'll see how long these bulbs last, and if, the, if we need to in the future, we'll look at replacing them with LEDs. But for now, uh, the rig's all done, and we can get this one back to its owner. If you like what you see, uh, please give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And thanks again for watching.